reported Russia believed to have an estimated 150,000 or so military forces near the border with Ukraine right now. Meanwhile, the State Department says Russia expelled the second most senior diplomat from the U.S. Embassy in Moscow, calling that move unprovoked. Our Karen Borda joining us with a native Texan's unique perspective on this Ukraine situation. Karen? Well, Doug, Dr. Elijah Brown grew up in Central Texas and was in Dallas last week before flying to Ukraine. We talked to him in Kyiv, and he describes the mood in Ukraine's capital with one word, tense. The danger that we experience coming in and standing in solidarity is nothing in comparison to what individuals here are facing. And Dr. Elijah Brown with Baptist World Alliance has been meeting this week with the heads of churches and other faith communities in Kyiv. This is a critical time for us to be present and to pray. Those meetings happening as Ukrainians and the world watches and waits for Russia's next move along the border. Kyiv is the seventh largest city in Europe, which underscores the importance of why the military buildup has the world's attention. This is a really strategic time in a really strategic city, not only from a faith perspective, but for all who love democracy and human rights. Dr. Brown believes the next few days are critical as diplomacy continues to play out. If there is an invasion, the Baptist World Alliance has been working with churches in western Ukraine to prepare to take in refugees from other parts of the country. They will be able to respond immediately with housing, with medical care, with relief and aid. They're stocking up food, a number of their churches, so that they are ready, should a crisis occur, they are ready to respond immediately with the love of Jesus Christ. And Dr. Brown flew out of Ukraine earlier today. Secretary of State Antony Blinken and Vice President Kamala Harris are on their way to Munich for a security conference where Russia and Ukraine will certainly be at the top of the agenda. Doug? No doubt about that, Karen. Thank you so much.